We might find some volunteers that will open buildings uh, that they can go into until uh, 7 o'clock in the morning or maybe some places for a full day if it's really super cold. So uh, when we talk about this uh, budget modifications and adjustments, it's important that we don't be overly congratulatory to ourselves about what we are accomplishing because what we are accomplishing is deliberately, willfully choosing to treat local people worse than we treat refugees in foreign refugee camps and emergency service centers in Haiti, in, uh, in people fleeing Syria. They have tents, they have camps with water brought in. The reason they don't have trash piling up and creating chaos in the Lentz neighborhood is because government agencies and NGO agencies service those people by providing them with hygiene facilities and trash disposal, which we don't do. We will intentionally, this year, keep about a thousand people from having any safe, hygienic place to live. Um, we've tried, we, you know, we've hopefully will be able to look back and say, well, it was a smaller number this year than it was in the previous year. But the truth is, we're choosing not to allocate services, resources, so that the, thousand, the hundreds of toilets that are in Veterans Memorial Coliseum and Motor Center that don't get used many nights of the year won't be available to those people. We haven't found a way, so let's just not be overly congratulatory. And let's admit that the Portland way, as talked about by Ellen Osinach in front of Judge Simon, is not always such a great way. Thank you. Thank you.